I'm actually curious because Carrie, you mentioned something about kind of your online presence. And I'm curious for the both of you, you know, how has that changed, you know, during this pandemic? Have you guys seen a pretty big increase in online traffic? And, and how much more time are you guys focusing on your digital dealership versus your physical dealership? Kazi, I'll start with you and then Carrie, I'll ask you the same question. Well, it's actually funny. So today we release our brand new website. Um, so, uh, yeah, absolutely. Perfect timing, right? Um, so we've focused, it's funny, so I've been here exactly a year yesterday in this dealership. So a year ago, um, the digital um, presence uh, was very, very little. So since then, we had no marketing manager actually in the dealership. Um, uh, and now I've actually got two marketing managers in the dealership. So we actually spend a lot of our time um, in that digital area. And, but it's specific. So, you know, I hear this question all the time, people ask me, you know, what are you doing about SMS blasts? I say, well, an SMS blast doesn't work. It's great saying, you know, the place on fire, do not come to dealership. It's great. That's, that, that's, that's where it works. But then there has to be a specific uh, marketing campaign to a specific model and demographic if you want to have a good outcome. And we find that with my two digital people, uh, one is very analytical and has all she's set and do all the data and tell you who drives what, where, and so forth. And the other guy is great on on the on the um on getting all the pictures and, and uh, all the video collecting. I think video, as you said, and I've watched some of the other podcasts, is definitely the future. And I believe, unfortunately, I think we Australia is behind what America does. America's ten years in front, and we are starting to definitely get better with video and. Sharing our, um, uh, if someone rings up about a car, or, uh, yeah, we're trying now to get into the mood and, and get the people comfortable in front of the video is one thing, right? And saying, hey, Johnny, well done. And we, you see it now. I think it's an American thing too. The video is definitely the way. And one of the challenges is to convince the people, the old dinosaurs, that it is the way in groups. Um, uh, but they'll be left behind. He said some dealerships, if they're going to be gone, they're gone. But I definitely think the video and digital is put more money into that area and less in those old newspapers. Those things are just dead, dead in the water. And, and you know what it is? At the end of the day, it, it's just how the customer wants to communicate. Like, I, 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 think, I think we're at the point with video that it's no longer just kind of a, a good idea or a best practice. I, I, and I'm with you, Kazi. I, like, I honestly think it, it's just a mandate. It's like enough's yeah. enough. It's just something that has to be done. I mean, Carrie, I know you were early on in creating video. Um, you guys want to hear a funny story? I was, you know, I'm at home a lot right now. So I was cleaning out the basement of my house and I found my old flip cam. And it was the first camera that I used at the dealership. And, you know, I posted my first video in 2006. 2006 when I posted my first video and I had a lot more hair. Um, I had to talk really loud because the microphone on this camera was total crap. But hey, this was a this was a really advanced camera. It had a whole one megapixel. All right, wow. this was I mean this was this was top of the line stuff at the time. <laughs> but but no, Kazi, I'm I'm totally with you on this. I think I think from a from a communications perspective, it's how the customer wants to be communicated with as an industry. I think it's no longer a good idea or best practice. It's a mandate. Hey, Carrie, for yourself, I'm curious for your dealership, you know, how has your online presence changed in the past few months? Um, I believe over here, like we've always had uh, a decent online presence. Um, for the last few years when I was selling cars, I'd always been massive on video. <laughs> um, and I think that was obviously something that helped me get to where I am today because I was always on the front foot. I was one of the first people in Australia heavily doing videos, like um, aiming to do one or two a week at least. Um, and... So with that kind of background, when I came into management, I kind of put that into practice here for my sales team anyway. So we were just taking videos of, you know, particular models. And when someone inquires on that model, we've just literally got that database there, just sitting there um, and we can shoot them off. And I would highly recommend that my sales team as well personalize it a little bit so rather than just using one of our database you can use it if you don't want to get in front of the camera but um if you don't if you can say 
do a selfie video and make it personal. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think the imperfections are the best part of it as well. It's like, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Blah, blah, blah. This is the demo behind me that you've just inquired on. Um, can't wait to show you through the vehicle. Give me a call when you can so we can chat about it further. It only needs to be 15 seconds. And so a lot of salespeople are kind of on the front foot with, um, you know, handling inquiries, trying to call people, SMS people. But if you've got that video that gets shot through to you with a face, you know, you're going to be way more remembered than anyone else. But I think coming into the pandemic, I think it has become a little bit more for other people. We've been doing walkarounds because obviously people can't come in. We've also been doing kind of like Zoom video um, handovers. So we've been doing contactless handovers. We'll leave the car at the house and then we'll do a walk around at the dealership explaining the features and whatnot. And I think that, you know, even without this pandemic, we've got like... Um, people with illnesses like you know who can't leave anyway if we could like make this more of a procedure that we offer to all of our clients I think it would be really beneficial and as I said there's so many people sitting behind the computer screen these days who don't want to come in they really don't so we've kind of got to tailor to those people who rely so much on the technology side of things to learn about the vehicles.